Hello and welcome to Total Party Crit. I am your dungeon master, Dangle. I'm Fela. I play Esther Feldman. She is also known by the title of Grayshrike. So, hi, my name is Buttons. Um, I am playing Lady Diana Lynette Isadora Borchet. So, I'm Navarra. I'm playing Force Gem Jar. Hi, everyone. I'm Lucia, and I am playing Indigo Ink. I'm Rooster. I play Egan. Now, let's get rolling. So... Everybody got arrested. Made a which, into that one. Yeah, which was fun. Um, but yeah, uh, what else happened? Besides a creepy person showing up at camp. Okay. I'm kind of gonna start from the beginning because we didn't uh, re fully record that last session. Remember? Yeah. I know. So, um, basically, real quick, like I'll do it. Um, everybody was camped out waiting for the. I don't want to say main party because you are the main party, but the uh, the exploring party to get back from their hole that they fell into uh, because you were out in the middle of the desert trying to find the city. Apparently you found it. Um, four people came back. Liza Vance, Jorah, and Rogan. Rogan being like your main point of contact person that actually hired you. Um, grabbed his stuff was like, alright, cool, fuck off, and left, basically. Um, so it kind of left you with Jorah, Liza, and Vance is, like, pointing to contact. You kind of spent the rest of the day, camped out. They showed up the next day. Um, new things were kind of weird going on, but move on, you you uh, you get paid, you get out of the desert, you get to the main big city. He has kind of dispersed from there, and then guards come up and be like, "Hey, we want to ask you questions." Everybody gets arrested, and you get to spend about a month in jail. If I'm not mistaken, right? Okay, cool. Making sure that my notes are right. Um. After that, about a month goes by, Vance shows back up. Except Vance looks way not, like fancier. Um, he's got a like full-on suit and all this other stuff. And he's like, "Oh, by the way, um, all of you are gonna go work in the mines and die kindly because I don't. We don't want to deal with you. Um, you, 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 you all have doubles. Indigo, you don't have a double." Esther, you're just a pain in our ass. You need to die. Um, and that's pretty much where we left off. There was a little bit of RP after that, but um, they wasn't feeling real great, so didn't go super far after that. So, did I miss anything, Major? I had a little fun teasing Vans. That's true. Oh, and he threw, threw a weapon on you, which was fun for me. <laughs> All right, so... I'm sorry, what? Yeah, she Misty stepped out of the cell that she was in, and he was like, oh, hell no, you're not doing this. And then he was... She said something about bite me, and he's like, I actually will, don't tempt me. Because, you know... <laughs> racial stuff. 
Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of where we're at. So, um, if I'm not mistaken, everybody has been freed from their cell. You're still locked in this like cellar of so, some sort. Um, heavy wooden doors above you, and it's a big rectangular stone room. And I'm going to kind of leave the floor to you, as you, Sophie, see fit. Is Esther with the actual group? Yes. Yes. Oh, and okay, you guys made your... it sound like she wasn't. No, everybody is. Um, and your Kenku butler is also with you. Okay. Let's get out of here. Having been there for a while, um, can we kind of get a sense of, of exactly what the kind of like the patrol patterns are? As far as patrol patterns, you're not 100% sure since it is a solid wooden like hatch above. Um, and you know that the building above you is pretty nondescript, fairly small, probably five or six rooms. Didn't we find like a um, secondary passage aside from the trap door? No. Could we look for one? <laughs> you also did not look for one. So if you would like to, by all means, you can roll an investigation. I'll help uh, assist somebody gets advantage. Uh, my investigation is plus zero, so I probably should not be the one to roll that. I have a plus two in an investigation. Let's see what your tag-along PC has. I got a plus five. Oh, look at that. Between everyone gearing up and us looking for uh, a possible second exit slash entrance, could I possibly justify taking a short rest? Um, yeah, you could, you could justify taking a short rest. Cool. I'm not gonna handicap you right away. Silly warlock. Um... <laughs> Yeah. I promise I'll try not to be like super annoying with it, but cool. My screen's you freaking should. out again. Fantastic. Or roll investigation with advantage channel and check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Um Rooster Can is it, dark? it is Sorry. not dark. It is okay. fully awesome. lit. One eighty two. Okay. So, yeah, 22 will get it. Um, so, Rooster... Egan's kind of searching around as everybody's kind of gearing up, because I don't think Egan's got a whole lot to him, right? No, just, just a little. He's got quite a bit, but it's not hard to put on. Okay, so yeah, you get ready pretty quick. You're searching around. A little, little bit of help from Indigo. Um... You both kind of stumble upon what looks like a possible um, walled up old entrance. May I check for traps? You can, however, you don't see any. Okay. Yeah, even with like a four, you'd be like, yeah, no, no traps. Or a 24, 29, or 30, or whatever. No traps. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. The oh. problem is, is getting that down without anybody hearing. Getting the trap the door down? Challenged. Getting the old walled um, door oh. knocked down. I mean, I can get it knocked down. It's just not going to be quiet. So, if you want to try to knock it down forcefully, you can do so with disadvantage to try to be quiet. Whoever might want to take that. Athletics or just strength? Um, if you have athletics, I'll let you use it. Otherwise, just straight up. 
Is okay. there anything we can do to help negate the noise? Um, not particularly, unless if you roll a really good performance check. Sure, for giggles, let's let's try it. Okay, okay what exactly are you performing? Oh God. Okay. Do you, um, have, do you have any like? Swan Lake. <laughs> <laughs> but do you have any like? musical instruments or are you just gonna be like singing or what are you gonna be doing uh yeah no uh more so like acting um let, let let's read some poetry or something i don't know uh we'll do it like edgar Allan poe the crow style nope nope that's a two even yeah. with my performance of four that's only a six Okay. Nope. I'm not helpful. No. All right. So athletics at disadvantage. You said. Yes. I'll uh, I'll cast God at some fate. Okay. First one's a twenty. Um, eighteen, and I have a plus seven, so the lower one would be twenty. Okay. Do you want to use that guidance as well? Um, sure. That's a D four. Yes. Yep. I rolled a four. Yes, yeah, a twenty-four. Um, so you do manage to knock it down. Um, you do a pretty good job. So I'll give this, see what you guys hear or don't hear. Yeah, they rolled pretty good, um, but not good enough for a twenty-four. Um, over the course of the next like half hour, you're like at it and knock like mortar loose and other, other fun stuff until um, one of the bricks actually comes out at you and you see an eye on the other side with a really quiet whisper of Diana are you in there I was asking um a Mutual friend has sent me to help. At least mutual, mutual friend. Yes, I have from, many um, mutual friends. My Rosa. On my end, I don't know if anybody else bought through Rosa, but yeah, it froze for me too. Okay, so what'd you say? I said you're gonna have to be a little bit more specific. I have many mutual friends, dear. Um, he... You can kind of see him, like, searching around, like, on himself. He kind of holds up a little emblem. And it's... Some wings that have some, like, fire on them. And he's like... This look familiar. And she'll uh, hold up the butt of her fan, which you'll see a little gold symbol very similar to his. All right. So at least rumors are true, um, saying that there's two of you. I'm not sure exactly how that works. One taking a job in Mosson, the other one's here. So, um, quietly continue doing what you're doing. I'll pull them off from my end. And yeah, over the next like, another half hour, you kind of scrape away the mortar and all that fun stuff and make a big enough hole to where everybody can actually get through. Um, once you're actually through and look at this guy, he's just a nondescript human, um, for the most part. Got some kind of grimy clothes on, um, Minus that one emblem that he showed Diana, really nothing on him that's worth anything. He's like, "All right, so um, let's direct you out of here. Um, don't go the way I'm going. I'm going back to the city. If you go straight down here, and it'll kind of wire off. I'll take the left side. You take the right side." The rest of you, I don't care where you go. You, right. 
Understand? All right. Um, be careful. It's supposed to be kobolds down there. I'm not sure exactly temperament, but you know, kobolds. We'll deal with them. We always do. And he just kind of nods. He's like, have a good day. And he kind of starts pulling down the way. And um, Clank's just kind of like, what was that? Yeah, great question. What was that? Can we really trust that guy? I think buttons froze. Yeah, everything froze up for me. Dang it. And Clank kind of goes, What was that? And Indigo followed up, Yeah, great question. Who was that guy? Can we trust him? He was exactly who he said he was a mutual acquaintance and nothing more. No, I do not know him personally, but yes, his information is good. If you want to get out of the city, I suggest we follow his directions. All right, to the right, let's go. She's so sexy, I love it. So, it is very, very dark down here. Not so anymore. You, Lights everywhere. I was about to say, those of you that don't have dark vision, you're going to have to like hold on to a shirt tail, but never mind. We're good. So, human, halfling, and burden. You're good. Um, yeah, you continue on straight, and it is just an old, you assume, to be access tunnel, like utility access, plumbing access tunnel. Um, you look to the left, and you see some scorch marks coming from down that way, um, and you can tell it leads directly to the sewers. To the right, it looks more natural, kind of like a cave system. Continue on down through. And eventually, you find an actual natural cave. Um, there are torches and sconces every probably 50, 60 feet. So there is some light until it eventually starts going to 100 feet, 200 feet, and then just very sparingly. Um, pretty easy to follow. But you're down there for probably an hour, hour and a half. It's not hot good but still underground kind of sucks especially if you're not used to being down there eventually though you find yourselves kind of at another crossroads going right, you think? The guy did say just go right. He did indeed. Is so, there yeah. any is there any type of draft in the cave? Um, nothing that's discernible as far as like which way you should go. Um, the map should be loading for you. If not, let me know. I can see it. <laughs> I love the little Anna. TPK. That's so adorable. <laughs> is there oh, indicate? Sorry, is there any indication of uh, foot traffic he that's Whoa. heavier down one side than the other? Go ahead and give me a survival check. Anybody that wants to. I'm not great at those, but let's see what we get. Okay, that's oh, a 16. 17. Okay, 16, 17. Natural one. Okay, for so a total of four. Okay, so... You 15. swear you find a mushroom and you're like, I'm gonna eat it, and then you like everybody else is looking at you like, No, you found a rock. Good job. Um, does Esther or 
our halfling friend Forrest want to roll a survival check? I rolled a 15. Okay. I have a 5. probably help if I actually pulled up his actual character sheet. Um, but he will not be rolling it because his wisdom is awful. So um, so yeah, 17's our highest. And Egan can kind of discern the right side has a little bit more foot traffic than the left, but it both sides have some. Wise man says left is always right. You're, you seem to be a little bit more experienced in these things than I do, so. Uh... Well, do we want to go where there's more foot traffic or less? Well, by my understanding, more foot traffic means more chance of an in or an out, however. That's why I was wondering if we're on the lamb. Wouldn't less foot traffic suit our purposes better? That sounds better to me. Okay. So yeah. Um, go ahead and move as you so see fit. And just let me the know left was, The left one was the less foot traffic, right? Yes. Okay, I'll start up through there. So you can kind of look down through here. Um, again, sconces are every 50, 60, 100, whatever feet. It's pretty ir irregular at this point, um, but it's pretty straight. You do see, at not the immediate next, but the following next um, light source that it splits off again. where we just uh, walked past. Oh, no, no, no. I'm done. I understand. What is that noise? What noise? Yeah, it's something from you. From me? No, from buttons. Oh, okay. um... I think my, sorry, I think my, uh, I think my laptop was overclocking and the mic was picking it up. Uh, so yeah, you get to the this next one. And this one you can't really tell foot traffic wise, which weighs more or less. I'll take a puff on my on my pop and see if I can see where the smoke's going. Okay. Um, yeah, you take puff and it doesn't really disperse anywhere. Um, it's pretty stationary and it kind of disperses behind you, actually. Shall we continue the way we are going? Uh, yeah, as good as I guess. So yeah, you kind of continue on down through. And it's just kind of more of the same, actually. It's um, pretty... Um, pretty... plain. Pretty natural cave formation. And again, you come to a split. One side actually has a um, torch down a ways 
and you can see an open room. Can I hear anything? Give me a perception check. Any of us can do that, correct? Yes. 19. That landed off the table and on my lap. Let's try that again. More time. Ooh. Okay. Uh, so, 29. We'll 21. Let... Oh my god, 29. You're insane. Oh, uh, that's yeah. Um, so, 29 will give you a faint trickle of water to the south. We've got water to the south, folks. And it looks like a big room. East. Yep. What do we think? Well, if anything, we'd have something to drink. We got all our belongings back. I have plenty of liquids for us. <laughs> Including coffee and or tea. We'd like yeah. to see if there's anybody in a big room before we go south so we don't have somebody coming behind us, maybe. Well, we can always, uh, one or two of us can go sneak up. Yeah, I'm not exactly subtle. I'm not so much either, but I'm not at disadvantage. I'm fairly subtle. I got a plus two. <laughs> I'm not very subtle, but I'm not awful at it. Rogue go sneak sneak? Rogue will go sneak sneak. Uh, I'm sneaking which way? Uh, right or left? Uh, to, to the, the uh, yeah. to the big room, yeah. Make sure there's nobody home in the big room, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> Roll 20! Okay. So, that is a 30. <laughs> okay, I can't hit that. <laughs> Uh, so, describe to me how far you want to go. Okay, that is a great question. Let me actually get this up. Um, I will sneak up to here, like just to the opening of the, the mouthway and uh, look around. Before I move any further, is that okay? Yes. Uh, you see that thing up in the corner? Okay. It is an eight-legged, lizard-looking thing with gem eyes and red spines on its back. <laughs> it does not seem to have seen you. Okay. However, I will allow you a dexterity check not to actually look at it for too long. Okay. Uh, let's see here. That is not as good. Uh, just a straight check. That'll leave me at a 12. Okay, that's good enough. Um, so yeah, you kind of see it and you're like, oh crap. Um, yep, roll, roll me a nature or, nature or arcana, please. Okay. Um, I think those are all the same. Yeah, they're all the same. Whoa. But that is the 14 for a total of 16. Okay. So you know this thing. Oh, yeah, you'd probably know what a basilisk is. Um, you know, if you look at it, it'll turn you to stone. Like, actually look at it. Um, and it seems to be currently nesting on a clutch of eggs. I'm gonna quietly Oof. sneak out and go back to the group. Uh, we got a, a mama um, in there. If, if we uh, look at her too long, we'll turn to stone and she's clutching eggs, so she's gonna be extra territorial. I 
say we don't go that way. A hey, mother what? Uh, my brain just farted and I forgot. Basilisk? Basilisk. Right? Is that what you said? Yeah, that, that's what I meant. Mm -hmm, totally. Just, not, not just a pregnant woman. <laughs> not just a It could be a pregnant That'd uh, be a big old hell no for me too. South it is. Okay. Figure that was one of those that you'd be like, no, I'm good. Well, come on, guys. You don't want to go kill it? I'm good. You can get a bunch of eggs. <laughs> I'm Rooster sure they're worth them. Rooster does. Egan, not so much. We can make some good money, I'm sure. Okay. Um, I'm going to actually reveal all the way to the water sounds since you roll a natural 20. There's only one issue. The uh, the water sounds are on the other side of a locked gate. I mean, that doesn't sound like that big of an issue. It could be. But yeah, if you continue going south and then kind of off to your east, you see the big lit up room goes directly outside it's just big lock gate is there yeah. anything that looks like a lever is that where we want to go I mean I assume we wanted to get out of this cave system yeah, I'm just asking that we want to go to the big gate like maybe let the sneaky one sneak up on it again maybe I can do that. We'll check it out. Okay. Does it seem like it'll make a lot of noise if we try to open it? Yes, but you're probably far enough away from people that. Do you need me to roll stealth to um, get up there? If you want to, you can. Okay. Well, I, I just rolled for it, so that's what I was asking. I rolled a nine, so that's not as awesome as that thirty, but. Okay. Um, Nothing to sneeze at. Okay. Um, so yeah, you sneak up there and you're taking a look at this thing. And well, yes, it does have like a padlock on it. You also see that it's missing a gear on the lever actually physically open it. So, in, in open or bolt? Currently, well, unless if you want to try to manhandle this thing and lift it up with brute strength. Does it look like it's possible to lift with brute strength? It'll take quite a bit, but yeah. So, I'll uh, sneak it back up to the others. Not however far I need to go so I can actually talk to everybody. I think we're not moving our tokens quite right. But that's okay. Anyways, I'm rambling. <laughs> uh, so, that gate, we can't open it. There's a gear missing. Um, so, even if we could unlock it, we wouldn't be able to open it unless we want to brute strength it. As you kind of seem like you're good with the brute strength stuff, I don't know if we could actually do it though. Do we have any oil we could use to grease it up with or anything? Just to kind of help things along a little? Indigo will search through their bag. There's only one reason, only one way to know if it is possible. Uh, yeah, I do not have any oil. Indigo pulls out a, a flask of oil. There, that's what you wanted, right? Okay. Um, yeah, Esther, if you want to give it a shot, go ahead and give me an athletics check. Okay. 
Is there any big oh. boulders or anything near this to where we could like prop it under, even if we have to crawl under, if I'm able to lift this? No. Okay. Well, that might be fucked about getting over that. <laughs> And to go, you need to look through her bag and be like, oh, hey, I have a crowbar. Will that help you? All right, well, let's see if we can at least lift it. Because if I can um, lift it high enough, might over be the, okay. Over the table, worst comes to worst, Diana can overclock a misty step and take as weather. Fair, but why would we do that? Because oh. you're the only <laughs> sword strong person in our group right now. Yeah, see, strength shouldn't be a dumb stat all the time. I tell you that to myself, because that's usually my dump stat. <laughs> Alrighty. I'll, uh, I'll give her the guidance if she'll take it. Doesn't matter. Okay, that does I rolled a 10. Bad. One. Okay. No, no, it was a 3. Okay. Um, yeah, you kind of grab hold of this thing, and you're lifting, and you've applied oil and all this, all this other stuff, and you move it about that far. And you know it'll move, it's just you can't get a good enough hold on it. You can continue to try if you want to. However, give me a perception check as specifically. Sixteen. Okay. Um, as you're like lifting and hoisting on this thing, you find, or well, you kind of follow up the like movement track to the gear mechanism and it specifically has a trap on it that if it moves not by the gear system it will release something from above you exactly what that is you're not sure oh Well then, that's, uh, fun. I will point that out to everyone and say that we should probably find the missing gear. Is that the- is that one mechanism in the hall the only one we can see? Is there not one on the other side of the gate as well? Yes, that is the only one that you can see. They're gonna have to go hunting. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, so like down down this other way. See if we can find anything down there, maybe. There we go. So you continue on down the hallway, and right there, it kind of splits off, and then you can see a little bit further around, it kind of loops around. Alrighty, so... Guess we. Ooh, here's X. You can see that much. Okie dokie. Um, still not hearing anything or whatnot. Um, beyond the water that's behind you, which you can see is actually the river. Side. Go ahead and give me another perception check, please. Fourteen. 
12. Got a 10. That is a 8. 21. Cleric to the rescue. Um, you hear kind of a clicky clack noise down at the end of the hall. Um, it's rather large as well. I don't like clicky clack. That's the best I can come up with as far as like the actual noise that it would be. No, I'm just saying I don't like hearing clicky clack noises in a cave. Matter butler. So how would you like to see? Towards the cl- clicky clack noises, I guess. Shield out. Stealth or no stealth? I vote stealth. Stealth, I guess. Okay, I just needed to know. 16. Twenty-six. Eighteen. Eighteen for me. The sixteen is our lowest. Okay, fourteen is our lowest. Um. And I'm going to say Ty goes to the player because they rolled a 14 as well. So, they're not hidden. They're not trying to hide. Um, however, you see two giant scorpions. And that's pretty cool. Um, is there a hint of a gear or anything in here? No, there is not. I'm going to bet that's with the basilisk. You also have a whole rest of the cave system. If you want to. Do we want to fuck with these things? Not particularly. Not if there's nothing useful there. Is there anything that is visible in there other than the scorpions themselves? Um, You do see kind of a nice sword on the other side of the thing. However, it's not necessarily to say it's magical or anything. It's just really shiny. Nah, her sword is sentimental. That's fine. Yep. The player inside of me is dying. I want the sword. And it just turns out to be a regular sword. I don't care. God, haven't you ever played video games? You always pick up everything. You clear it out. Yeah, I don't. All right, so uh, back the way we came, I suppose. You don't want to get the sword? It's just a couple of scorpions. We can squish them. How about you be bait and we just go run for the sword? I don't make good bait. I'm already charcoaled. Yeah, exactly. You have that... Just grilled scent. Well, there, there is that, I guess. But, uh, no. Then no sword for me. Okay. Um, so not... There's... Where is it? Over here? All the way down. A little bit. Not necessarily all the way, but yeah. Um, right over here.
So, yeah. You want to go down here? You don't want to go all the way back and like go down the first tunnel? We're closer to here. Okay. kind of loops around off your left. However, it keeps continuing down through, and it gets considerably colder as you come down through here, just to let you know. Interesting. Shall we start stealthing now that there's a bit of a change temperature wise sure. sure oh no eight there's the ten yeah ten nineteen I got, I got a twenty a, I got a twenty one alright clomp 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 I got a 19. I do have an Esther's description that she's got some, like, big stompy boots on. That's great. Look, if you're gonna go max strength, you need the stompy boots to go with it. Absolutely. That's what we call ass-kicking boots. Alright. So... You continue on down through, and at this point, it is almost cold enough to see your breath. Which is not normal at all. However, if S is leading, that's what S can see. One light going off to the left, and one light coming from straight ahead. Interesting. Uh, do we want to keep going? I guess so. Yes, can we you hear in the dark? What? Can you see in the dark? Indigo has dancing lights up. Uh, I've got blind sight for ten feet. So I can uh, fight in the dark. I just can't see. <laughs> uh, I'm going to cast Produce Flame when it gets cold. I don't like being cold. And just carry it in my hand, my offhand. Okay. Can I hear anything at this point? Um, go ahead and give me another perception check for everybody. 21. Okay, 21, yes. I'm a 21. 25. Dirty Absolutely, 20. then. I also okay, got a dirty 20. Alright, so everybody except for Egan. And... Yeah, everybody except for Egan. Um, here's... Kind of a... Um, it's not like... It's not quite yipping. Like a dog would yip. But it's similar. Straight ahead. Would S like to look into that room? Yes. Okay. S kind of looks down that hallway and into that room, and it is very well lit. In there. Um, you see a um, the throne in front of like a pedestal like altar looking thing um, in there and on the altar there seems to be like gold and 
other items. Shit. I'd like to take a look in this end of it if I could. Yeah. Um, go ahead and give me a stealth check. Fourteen. Okay, so passive stealth check. Got it. Um, let me see something. I'll be back in just a second. Dangle, is this where we were hearing the yipping? In this room, the yeah, um, um, where side. Egan is. Oh, where Egan is, so further down. Yes. Um, Egan, go ahead and give me a perception check, please. Or what's your passive perception? Passive twenty-four. Okay. Um, you see, um, six jackal-like bipedal creatures in this room. They all seem to be kind of gathered around a small campfire. And they seem to be conversing in some sort of language. Do they look molish, for example? Not quite. I'll uh, back off general lock and tell the others what I spotted. Does what he describes sound familiar in any way, shape, or form? Um, give me a Arcana check, actually. That's... My sheet will... Okay, let's see here. Arcana. Eh, not terrible, but let's see what we get. <laughs> 15. That's a lot better um, than what Indigo got. I got a 3. Actually, they do sound familiar. Um, they sound like a creature called a jackalware. I shall relay this information to the group. Does that ring a bell for us? Um, go ahead and give me that same arcana, arcana. check. Yeah. Eight. No. Four. Nope. It's actually a DC 11. I know what these things actually are, so. Yeah, I got a 15. So yeah, Egan would know. Um, Indigo knows. I think. Or, Mm -hmm. no. No, I I rolled a 3. Diana knows. You're the only two that actually know. And actually, thank you. Anchors, stop holding out on us. You gotta tell us these things. I'm just a butler. So, which terrifying no thing do we want to handle? Just anything. Which terrifying room do we want to try to handle first? Have we actually seen anything in the room with the pedestal? No, no. but I want to see if I can creep forward a bit. Okay. Clank, so. clank, clank. <laughs> Indigo wolf. Actually, oh, no clanks. After. I'm not wearing any armor. Stomp, stomp, stomp. You're wearing 
old school football. Oops. I move. Smack, smack, smack. Vegan. Not boxing. Um. So yeah, you move forward and you kind of look uh, into the room a little bit more, and it is beautifully adorned. Um. If you wouldn't know any better, it would look like a burial chamber for like royalty, effectively. <laughs> but um, apparently, I do know better. Yeah. Um, however, on each side, there's actually a little alcove that looks like it has some morbid, like humanoid standing there that looks to be desiccated and dried. Probably mummy has got it. No, it's definitely not mummies. You know that much. Okay. Probably white. No right. Got it. <laughs> um, actually. However, oh, nope. I'm not a paladin yet. Never mind. Yeah. Um, go ahead and give me one more perception check. Can I join her on that since I'm following? Yep. Uh, Yay. that's bad. Okay, that is Seven. where we're doing perception. Yes. That is a 24. Okay, so Indigo, you actually see a um, couple of things. Um, you see a large golden egg-looking thing. You also see a large gear. Oh, look at that. I found the gear. Okay. Yeah, so uh, Indigo will uh, pull on as his trousers, trousers, da, 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 da. I can't. I shouldn't say words. Pant and be like, it's "There's an is. egg." Uh huh. Yeah, that's, that's too short. Why not? Um, <laughs> egg, but also I think that's the gear we were looking for. I don't. I don't see anyone protecting the egg, though. So that kind of worries me. Maybe there's somebody hidden in here, or maybe it is just sitting there. We should get it. The gear. Or do you want to steal the egg, too? We just need the gear. Okay, let's, let's <laughs> take the gear. Is everyone following us in? Oh, I don't know them. Diana will probably <laughs> stay towards the back, but she'll kind of follow. How exactly are you going in? Just out of curiosity. Sword drawn, shield out, and just going. <laughs> just going. <laughs> okay, so we'll go to slap, slap, slap. Stomp, stomp, stomp. It ended us trying to be a little bit more quiet. <laughs> Look, I already okay. bombed my stealth check. There's no point. <laughs> Go ahead and roll stealth if you're going to roll stealth. <clears throat> Sorry, I didn't mean to clear my throat. Everybody's uh, here. Cam. <laughs> that's going to be a... That's going to be a... That's going to be a 7 for me, Chief. You have the slap, slap, slap. Okay. Okay. Of what, a pair of flats hitting your feet? <laughs> So, yeah, you get uh, right about there, actually. Um, and there's a like a stomp, 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 slap, 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 and a shuffle, 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 and a very strong burning smell. Um, the only one that of you that's actually quiet and um, quote-unquote stealthy is the rogue. As it should be. Um, as the two figures in the alcove start moving. And they just kind of turn. One looks at Diana and the other one looks at S. Which one is looking at Diana? The one on the right. Or the one on the the room's right, so it'd be the left if you're looking at it from north. Looking at my character picture, the one to the left or the one to the right? The one to the left. Okay. Mm 
That's the one I'm going to go roll. for first. Please roll initiative. That's some good initiative right there. Claire, it's always good when the cleric goes last fight and I'm dead. Five. Okay, so uh, my other dice landed on the ground, so I had to roll a different one. Um, sorry, uh, afraid. Do we have to uh, run this initiative. in the combat tracker? I went ahead and did. Should we? I didn't. I'm awful. I got you. You said bye, right? Yeah. Sorry, brain. 24. As it should be. I got a 7. We're doing so good, guys! Both the players go last. Let yay! This is so good! Both well, the players now, on this uh, yeah, the, the barbarians last. I've got a plus two for Dex. Okay. Um. So yeah, Indigo, you are up first. Okay. Um, I'm gonna pull my sh- short swords from my back and charge this one that's directly in front of me. And I need to take off roller. That'd be great. The take off roller, thank you. Okay, and I will go ahead and attack you. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and guess I don't have an advantage or anything like that, correct? You would, actually. Oh, I would. All right. Yeah, because you rolled so well. Ooh, natural 20. Ooh. Cool. Um, so that is sorry, I don't have my other information wrote down on my paper because I'm a moron and, and, and I don't know how to, anything works. Um, but that is a lot to hit. The natural point always hit. But that is double damage. So that is seven um, 13 regular damage. And then sneak damage is six. And then I will try to hit again with self advantage. No, just on that first one. Yeah, just on the first one. Okay. Um, that is only a 16 to hit on the second one. That'll hit. Okay. And that is just four straight damage. And that is their turn. Okay, they are still up. Strong zombies. Zombies are always strong. Um, so next up would be zombie looking at S, and it's going to be like, <clears throat> and charge you. By the way, um, if you didn't know, little cogwheel for settings, you can actually turn on the ruler when you're dragging again. Oh, that's good to know. Thank you. S is lucky that it has to charge S to actually get there and, like, dash to get there. So that's its turn. Um, it's Clank's turn. And Clank says, Oh, I don't want to fight. And he just kind of pulls his rapier out. And he's like, Don't come any closer. <laughs> and he's going to take dodge action. Because <laughs> I don't know if you need it yet. Um, Diana, it is your turn. Okay. Um, I will kind of step around our fearless little butler. And, um, I will, uh, use my 
action, my bonus action to summon a spiritual weapon on the other side of the uh, thing that S is facing. Okay. There's your spiritual weapon. Spiritual weapon. Go ahead and uh, move it as you still see fit. Cool. And so, yeah, and just this flurry of blackened feathers, this wicked-looking knife appears from behind the thing's... over the thing's shoulder. And um, I'll go ahead and use my bonus action to... I'll use that bonus action to take a swing at it. Okay, let me see. I gotta do a little math here. Uh, is it above see, a 10? What? Is it above yes, a 10? It, it is above a 10. Okay, then yeah, you hit. Okay. So I'm, ju- I'm just gonna roll for damage on the, on the sheet, because I can't do that much math today. Uh, that's gonna be 10 damage for th- on the bonus action. And then for my action, I'm going to Eldritch Blast it. Okay. Nat 20. Okay, go ahead and roll damage. Okay, crit damage. Oh, fantastic damage. 13. At least that was easier for me to figure out. Um, then it goes to zombie number two. Zombie number two says, hello, green lady. Um, I'm going to try to smack you a couple times. And I'm going to miss you both times because I rolled like crap. Um, Yeah. Makes two claw attacks. Doesn't actually with plus five. Anyway, um, so yeah, we're gonna kind of skip over him and say he didn't do anything. Uh, Forrest, it is your turn. Uh, I'm going to try to club the one next to and by uh, in, attacking Inigo on in the back of the leg with the mace. Okay, yeah, what's your movement speed? Out of curiosity. Uh, it's 25. Okay, so you can't quite make it there. You can make it the one that's attacking ass. Okay, I'll do that instead. Okay. Go ahead and roll the attack. Yeah, that'll uh, unless you have a negative to it, which I highly doubt, that'll hit. Four. Four damage. Do you have any like bonus action spells that you want to cast, like spiritual weapon or anything? Which I don't know if you have spiritual weapon yet. Yeah. You should. I do not. Okay. Um, all right. Gonna go to Egan. It is your turn. I'll uh, go to about there. Cast spiritual weapon behind the one above uh, Indigo. Okay. Do you have a specific token that you would like? Uh, just a little fireball's fine. Whatever. I'll give you the number uh, one. That'll work. Six damage. Well, 14 to hit. Six damage. Yeah. Uh, we'll definitely hit. 
and then I'll uh, toll the dead if I get a wisdom save from him. Fifteen. Roll a natural twenty. Okay, uh, not going to toll the dead. Then. That's all I got. Okay, sounds good. Um, S, it is your turn. I'm gonna smack it with my sword. Yay, barbarians! Uh, unnatural 20. And then... They rolled 6, and I have a plus 5. 11. Alright, so you strike it down. And... And it falls, it kind of crumples into a pile. And then it makes a, a bit, okay. Good fucking roll. Uh, <laughs> it makes a really good constitution save, and it comes back up with one hit point. Fuck. Oh. Yay, zombies! Yeah, yay. Um, however, that altar that I was talking about. The lid slid, slides open. Oh. Standing up from it. Cool. Is a wrapped humanoid oh, that just kind of looks. Look at the mummy. Out into the room. And um, first one it looks at is we got six people, so I'll roll a d6. It's Egan, actually. I'm get something, buddy. Um, and it gives you a dreadful glare. Okay. Um, can I get you to make a wisdom saving throw, please? I'd love to. 19. You are unaffected. And then it steps out of the uh, altar. And that is all it can Can I, um, at the end of my turn... Oh, never mind, because the zombie wouldn't have popped out until after my turn. Never mind. We're good. Indigo. Alrighty. Um, let's just attack again. Guys, I don't like to look at that big guy. Um, that is popped. Try again. There we go. <laughs> Not for one for my first attack. That doesn't oh, hit no. anything. Oh, no. Oh no, we do things on that one. We do do things on that one. So we're waiting for Dangle to say something You're good. before I... Oh, you good. Hit. Uh, offhand is a... Um... Dirty 20. So, Roll that damage. Uh... Uh... Just 7 damage. I only rolled a 1. <laughs> and that's all I got damage this okay. time. So sad. Alright. So the one that said, ow, that hurt and crumpled to the ground is like, I don't like you, sword lady. Um, specifically you, sword lady. So, it will attack you once and it will attack little mace halflings once as well. Bring it, bitch. Um, it misses. I know it. I know it misses. S. Um, Forest. Does a 16 hit you? No, that's just AC. Should be dex plus whatever your armor AC is. Uh, so dex plus my armor is 12. Okay, so yeah, that hit you. Um, so yeah, you're gonna take seven slash Um, as it hits you, however, um, uh, that's all it can do. Good news. Um, it is Clank's turn, and Clank's like, um, 
would you like me to do something? As he takes the dodge action again. Oh, die! Diana, it is your turn. Okay, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my bonus action to take another jab at the at the thingamajig in front of S. Okay, so it's above a 10, so I assume that hits. Yep. Okay. Okay, so that's 12 damage on the bonus action. Okay, so you swank it, and that's force damage, right? Yes. Okay, so you swank it, and it falls, and then a second later it pops back up. It rolled a 24 <sighs> on the constitution. Uh, blast it. Um... Okay, I will... Ah, oh, fuck it. Um... That's not even in there. Uh, ah, fuck it. Another... Another Eldritch Blast. Try and keep it down. Okay. So nine plus nine plus eight is seventeen. Yep, that'll it. Oh, horrible, horrible damage! Why do you do this to me? That is it, going to be a seven. It doesn't matter. It just has one health. It falls down and pops back up. Oh my god! No. I rolled a He's twenty-one low. for a Constitution save. <sighs> Dangle. Uh, How? It's not my fault. This um, is the luckiest then, undead I think I've ever seen. And then, uh, yeah. So we're going to move on to the other husk zombie. Um, and it will attack Indigo twice. Um, does a 20 hit you? Yes. Okay, at least I hit you once. Um, or five flash. Okie dokie. Which, by the way, um, that's kind of what they look like. Then the game log does, like said, desiccated and looks creepy as fuck. Yeah, the zombie husks are yeah. gross. Yeah. Uh, forest in Georgia. Uh, make, make a religion check for me. Fourteen. Okay. You know, typically undead don't like radiant damage if you have it. Can you repeat that? Typically undead don't like radiant damage. Oh, he's pulling out the book. Look at him. Do you have Sacred Flame? Yep. Go ahead. A... It's a cantrip. Okay. Uh, would you like to use it? Yes. Okay, that's a deck save, correct? Or is that an attack roll? I believe it's a deck save. Yes, ducks. Right. What is your spell save DC? I'm guessing seven. So it's spell save, correct? Yes. 13. All right. Uh, 
right. So they rolled a twelve. Woo! No. One point of damage will kill us. So this one's dead. Yeah, that one's done. Um, you may move if you want to, and or use bonus action. Uh, I'll start heading towards um, the one over by in Indigo and Nestor. As isn't right over there. there quite yet. Yeah. Um, Egan, it is your turn. Alright, I'm going to bonus action smack him again. Okay. Four. Hit. Ooh, 12 points of damage. Ooh. That one's a good one. I might fail this one. Or I can just roll a 19. That's alright. I'm not kidding. And then I'm going, I'm going to uh, burn bitch and s s scorching ray the mummy. Uh, 26 to hit, 24 to hit, and there's a 15 hit. Oddly, yes. I mean, oddly. There's, well, three fire, and eight fire, and five more fire, so that's in the neighborhood of 16 fire damage. All right. But I'm, I'm also going to uh, back up. Okay. S, it is your turn. Okay. Um... Can you measure that for me? I want to make sure I did it right. I think getting to the mummy is 30 feet. But the first time I did it, measured 35. So I just want to make sure. Yeah, it's 35. Damn. Okay. Uh, I guess I will get right up to in front of it. Okay. Um... Okay, if I rage this round, I still have until the end of my next round to make an attack, right? Yes. Okay. I just want to make sure I had that right, because it's been a minute since I played a barbarian. I would like to rage. You can also prepare an attack, I if can... you would like to do that. Oh, hold an attack? Yeah, I definitely want to hold an attack. Because chances are it's probably going to step up to you and try to punch it. Oh, probably. But yeah. Rage and then hold an attack. Okay. Um, since it says, or Egan said, go fuck yourself on that wisdom save, um, who does he want to go after this time? Oh, S. actually, as she uh, rages, she will stow her shield away and hold the sword in two hands. And just... Miss Air guides me. Okay. Um, yes. um, as you do that, it, the mummy looks you straight in your face and like, I will kill you. Uh, make me a wisdom save, please. Fifteen? Fifteen. Get it. Yes. Um... However, it will step up. Bring it, bitch. Um, go ahead and roll your attack as I roll mine. Fuck. 15? A 15 will 17, hit. I'm sorry. 17. Yep. That'll still hit. And, and I then... assume a 12 does not? No. I rolled that. Um, so, 16 damage and then d6. Because I'm raging, I get my Divine Fury, which is my big smite. Five, six, seven, so... what I say? Sixteen, and then seven more. Don't fuck with me. Alright. Um... 
it kind of like goes to punch you and you stab it first. And it kind of like shrieks out in some pain. It is not happy at all. Good. Yay, mummies. Um, in Yay, goes, your turn. All right. Slash, slash on this um, last zombie in front of me. Okay, that is not great. That is a brain please work. Oh my god, why can I just like not focus and do math here? 14. And then also a uh, 17 to hit. Okay. They both hit. So that is nine damage on the first one, and then a straight two on the second one. Okay, so the first one kills it. Lovely. I rolled really bad on that one. You save. <laughs> so, before your second attack, you can move. Ooh. Okay, well then, um, yeah, let's be like, they did nasty thing, and I will move, uh, 20 feet. Actually, can I? We don't do flanking, right? It adds a plus two. It doesn't give it advantage. Alright. That's fine. Uh, that's flanking with as, right? Uh, most part. not. Well, I'll call it flanking. It's not technical. <laughs> that would be. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to, like, get the right thing there. Um, um, so that second, do you want me to re-roll or keep that 14 that I rolled? Um, go ahead and re-roll. See if you can. Re-roll? Yeah. Okay, that is a, uh, 17 to hit. That'll hit. Okay. So that is, um, straight two damage. And then I get um, sneak damage, though, because I'm with Ed. And that is another three damage. Now I'm done. There we go. Um... Clank's gonna just be like, "All right, I'll I'll just go out." Here. And he like stops mid sentence, and he's like, "Um, we've got more coming." As he actually is gonna try to stab something the first time because the ja the jackal wares are coming. Enku with a knife, blade, but still. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> he missed. I told him to stay alive now. Come on. So instead of the red codes are coming, we have the jackal wares are coming. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I just gotta put him in place. Um, Diana, it is your turn. Okay, um, not quite, not quite enough, uh, movement, so, um, I'll go ahead and use my bonus action to move my spiritual weapon a little bit closer to where the jackals are coming. Um, as I use my own movement to back away from the door, and, um, I, shit, do I 
I think I should probably save my second spell slot. Um, I am going to Eldritch Blast the Jackalware that Clank is currently tangling with. Okay, so let's see, that's a... That's a 16 plus 8. That... Twenty-four. I'm assuming that hits. Yes, that does hit. Okay. Ah, uh, loving all, loving this, uh, loving these damage rolls. There, that's nine force damage. Okay. It's not bad. You got anything else? Uh, I used my bonus action to move the thing. That was my action. I used my movement. I'm good. Alright, so this one will... Move to here. And he's gonna be like, alright, cool, I'm gonna bite you now. And is going to hit. But they don't hurt very hard. Or hurt very much. Um, so yeah, he bites Clank. That one will actually stay back and kind of keep everybody in. And then that one will also take a bite and will miss. Horus, it is your turn. Uh, I'm gonna hit the mummy with a sacred flame. Okay. Uh, dexterity save, right? Yes. All right. Oddly, mommy's really bad at dexterity. Um, I think. Who'd have thought? Five. Um, Egan, it is your turn. Okay, let me see. All right, 20 foot gets me to there, so I'm going to smack the mummy with the virtual weapon with the bonus action. Okay. Ooh, crit. For 14 damage, force. Here and say, hey fellas, can we talk about this thing? And cast uh, Fairy Fire. Can I go? Okay. Where exactly are you casting it? Uh, let me get to cube. I can find one. Oh, there it is. Where the hell up yonder? Move before you. I'm going to cast it on the back line. It'll get four of them, I hope. Uh, 15 deck save. Okay, so two, the two in the back pass. The two in the front pass. So they're lit up like a Christmas tree. Oh. S. Do zealot thing. My turn again? Yes. Now smack it with my sword. Oh no. I rolled an 8. Uh, plus 7, 15. Right. Uh, 15 minus 11 to 4 differential. So yeah, you hit it. Okay. Armor class is awful on these things. Good. I'm glad. Ugh. That is fucking eight damage, and then seven more radiant. Okay. Yeah. So as she uh, Smith hits it, 
the radiant energy off her sword is actually like a gray silver color. Okay. What's that mummy look like? Uh, dead, I'm guessing? I don't know. Yeah, if you want to describe it in a little bit. Oh, really um, is it like dead dead or is it going to come back up? No, it's like dead dead. They don't have the... Okay, so from, from the sword strike, the gray radiant energy just eats away from the inside out. Nice. Um, like... However, directly after you, um, the jackal where like, our master is dead. The kobold sent you, didn't they? We sent us. Yeah. <laughs> um, I will, after she kills it, she will turn and then take her 30 movements towards everyone. Just super imposing, just stomping away towards them. I think that's 30. <clears throat> Will charge through everybody, so everybody can get an attack of opportunity. Okay. Um, he said, can I get one with the spiritual weapon? Um, yeah, I'll let you. Not supposed to, but I'll let you. It's totally your call. If you say no, I'll respect yeah, no, that. You're good. But See, I think Warcaster should allow that. In my personal opinion. Yeah. Uh, that's a 12. Does that even hit? Uh, 12. Does hit, actually. Okay. That's only 9 damage, though, so. Only? Gone. Um, however, it will. Because. You have been period with it. It will charge you with a spear. Straight out. And it will actually, like, try to hit you. Take this advantage, but it might hit me. Oh, my AC is only 17 right now. Uh, ooh, actually, 15. Almost hit you. Um, Carrying however, it with the, sh with the sword. Yeah. And we go back to the top. So Indigo, it's your turn. Sorry, I was reading word. Um, well, seeing this thing uh, charge as uh, Indigo will uh, stow her short swords and pull out her short bow and uh, attempt to shoot it in the head. Which she probably doesn't do with a brain whose work. Uh, 15. 15 hit. Oh, okay. I'll take that. Uh, so that is um, 11 damage. And then I get 8 damage. Yeah? Yes. Okay, so sneak damage is 8. And for giggles, is that one jackal? Um, that was just enough to drop it. Great. Uh, the one that's 20 feet back from it, as that yes. one dies, uh, wailing around it, and it takes three damage as I use my uh, whales of grave. Whales from the grave, sorry. Okay. So it takes uh, three and a part necrotic damage. Alright. Um, so yeah, it's Clank's turn. He's gonna be like, crap, 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 and he's gonna disengage and run the fuck away. As will motion like somewhere behind her to just get him away from the front. Yeah, he just ran that way. <laughs> um, and then it is the next one. It'll run up to Egan 
and it'll just kind of look him in the eye and be like, sleep. Um, can I get you to make me a wisdom save, Egan? 18. You're like, no, nah, I'm not tired. I'm good. Oh, um, man, that's all I can do. Uh, next one. Yellow. Yellow. We'll run up to S and do the same thing. So I, can, I get you to make me a wisdom save. Uh, this is a spell? This is a natural ability. Okay, so not a spell. Correct. Cool. Ah. You said wisdom? Ooh. Yes, yes. not good. I'm probably sleeping with a 10. Um, that is the number to hit, actually. Oh, good. Yeah. They're not very um, strong. But it's okay. Um, Diana, it is your turn. Okay, so um, I'm going to use my bonus action to stab the jackalware that's in front of Egan because it's within reach of my fancy schmancy knife. We'll start with that. Okay, so let's see, that's a dirty 20 to hit. That'll hit. Okay. Eh, a little bit better that time, 11 damage. Pretty good. What else would you like? Um, and then I will use my action uh, to... Ah, oh, fuck it. I've been having good success with it. I will use my action to Eldritch Blast that same Jackalware, see if I can finish it off. Welcome to being okay. a warlock. Yeah! Because you're, you're one of the ones that slid up. I lost track. Yes, actually, yes. So oh, cool, so I get... To, if you want to crit hunt that spiritual weapon, you can. Uh... Uh, yeah, well, let, let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and add a add another D8 to that damage. Oh, I'm so glad I did. That's another eight. You actually rolled a crit? Yes. Oh, cool. Um, you pop its head with your spiritual weapon. Cool. So then I can use my Eldritch Blast on the... Uh, on the uh, other jackal that's down this way. Okay. Let's see here. Da, 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 da. What's my modifier on? Okay, that's what I said. So. Okay, so that's 11 plus 8. That's a 19. That'll hit. Okay. Haha, -ha, lovely damage. 8. Alright, it's still up. Um, actually, as a matter of fact, it did turn. And it is going to be like, I didn't appreciate that woman. And it's going to run after you. Okay. There. Yeah, right there. Um, cool. And it will try to bite you. Okay. Uh, well. Nope. Okay. Uh, we'll definitely miss them. That's all it can do. Next one is blue one. And that is not one of the lit up ones. Let's see who's within 40 feet. 30 feet. 30 feet. That's what I was talking about. 30 feet. Hang on one second, my audio got funky for the next 10 seconds.
we're back. We're good? Yeah, cool. Um, gonna look over at Dan and be like, sleep. Um, can I get to make me a wisdom save, please? Absolutely not, because I'm immune to magical sleep, baby. Okay, that worked. Um, Damn didn't realize elves. You oh. Yeah, it just kind of ran in place. Wait! <laughs> oh, wait, shit. Yeah. Uh, um, and then purple one. Purple one comes up and says, Hello, fireman. You smell like barbecue. Yeah, pony, big boy, if that's what you want. Disadvantage, please. He's going to try to bite me. He is, as a matter of fact. Oh, put a, a mode of fire in his eyes. Okay. Uh, does a... A 10 doesn't hit you, right? Does not. Yeah, it doesn't figure. All right, fourth. That is your turn. I'm going to run up to the uh, Jackal by Esther and hit it in the stomach with my mace. Go ahead and roll that down. One sec. Um... Does a 14 hit? 14 does it, actually. And that's going to do 5 damage. Do you have a cat? You can act yes. solidly. Oh. Just, they're tough little things. They're just tough little things. It does connect solidly, though. Um, you got anything else that you want to do? Uh, I'll cast Sacred Flame to the Blue Jackal by um, Egan. Okay, I know I failed that one. I rolled a two. That does three damage. All right. Um, Egan, is that your? It is actually your turn. Come to me, my weapon. Slow as shit, right about there. And then I told you fellers to leave us alone and burning hands the table of me. Sweet. Save. Dex save 15, please. Or take, ooh, nice, 14 damage. One pass. Um, high or low? Uh, low. All right, the one that pass is the less hurt one, so you take half damage on a success, right? Yep. Okay. The other one is reduced to a pile of action. I do warn you. Uh, um, really? All right. S, it is your turn. I'm going to smack it with my sword. Okay. Um. Shit. 13. 13 will hit. Good. <clears throat> that would be, let's see, 7 plus 7, so 14 damage. Ah. And then another 7 radiant. Friggin' 21 damage on one hit. But they're immune to non-magical attacks. So, oh, so, radiant damage. Is so, so seven damage. 
because no course. magic weapon. Woohoo! Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Back to the top. Indio. Okay, that sucks right. so much. Shit. Alrighty. Um. Let us have a brain. Um. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I need to redo that thing again. But, anyways. How far can I move? If I move right there, can I still hit that guy? Or no? Uh, with a sword or with a bow? Sword. Um. I think I might be just a smidgen too far away. It says five feet, so I thought you're good. Okay, awesome. So, let us attack. Uh, so, stowing my short, short bow, pulling out my sword, short swords. Um, I'm guessing probably only the um, um, one of warning will actually do damage. So, anyways, that is a natural 19 to hit for the first That'll one. Hit. Uh, second one, it was a two, so only a ten to hit, which I doubt hits. Yep, ten doesn't hit. Okay, so let's do some damage here. You kill it. Okay, fine. I won't even count my dice. It had two hit points. <laughs> Alright, that's all I got. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, it is Clank's turn, and Clank will kind of yell out, and be like, you two should probably run! My friends will kill you! Um, Diana, it is your turn. Okay, so Diana is going to do something you guys haven't seen her do before. She is going to pull out her fan, and uh, with, uh, with it firmly lodged in one hand, she's going to look like she's pulling the lace off of the fan. Um, and so it kind of like dissolves into this wispy smoke and then congeals in her other hand. So she's holding one fan made of what looks like solid smoke and the other fan which is stripped down to its uh supports and you can see that they're actually really sharp wicked looking metal and um with her pack weapon in hand she's going to grin fairly at the jackal wear in front of her and take a slash with the uh with the fan made of smoke That is going to be an 18 to hit. That one. Okay, let's see. Melee. Ah, only four damage. Okay. You got anything else? Um, and with the bonus action, she is going to move the spiritual weapon behind the jackalware in front of her and try and stab it in the back. Okay. Go ahead and roll that. Okay, that's a 16 plus 8. That's a 24. That'll hit. And what's the minimum damage on that? Uh, 7. Alright, yeah, it's dead. Um, and it is Blue Jackal Warrior's turn. And it's just like, fuck this, and disengages and runs the hell away. Uh, um, anybody that wants to try to pursue it, it is faster than you. It has 40 feet of movement. So, does anybody actually want to try to chase this thing down? Is the I jack mean, in I... front as dead? Yes. Oh, I didn't realize it died. I was going to try and grab it. <laughs> no, it's all I, good. I, I mean, if Indigo really wanted, they could move 60 feet a turn and still yeah. attack. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so does Indigo want to chase it? Sure, why not? Let's shoot it down with a bow. Okay. That yeah, sounds fun. One attack before it. One attack. Before. Okay. Oh, that's a natural 18. Okay. So. Go ahead and roll uh, yeah, let's not do that. 
You gotta roll Two. really good, though. I didn't roll very good. That's only um, seven damage. Yep, yeah, not enough to kill it. Um, yeah, it's moving like 80 feet around after that. So, yeah, it's still. I thought you wanted to play. Um, so, yeah. You come back into the room, and at this point, as it's calming down a little bit, um, those of you that have been hurt, kind of surveying, you're like, oh, it's not that bad. A bite here, a scratch there, a punch in the face, you know. Um, the zombies are well and dead. The mummy is well and dead. Uh, you look around, and you do find the gear, which is the important thing for this particular um, outing. However, you also find a couple other things. Need to pull up my list. Um, did, he, did anybody get hurt? I think Clank took a bite. Yeah, I yeah think Clank's already taken care of himself. None of us actually got hurt, really. Nah, I got a little scratch, but I'm fine. Um. So, some things that you find that um, might be of use to you. Um, okay, sorry. Did not expect it to pop up where it popped up, but it took the entire thing. Um, so, you find a thousand gold pieces. First and foremost, you find the gear, you find the big golden dragon egg looking thing. It's not actually a dragon egg, but it looks like a dragon egg. Um, you also find inside the little, what you now know is a sarcophagus, um, a scythe, which is kind of neat. A longbow that looks like it has some sort of cording on the outside. As well as a really, really nice looking um, i to figure out how to No, oh, it's a cutlass. Really, really nice looking. and find out if this stuff is magical if you want to give me about 10 minutes. If I care about such things. Um, I mean, we're not really in a hurry right now, are we? I mean, they did confirm that there are kobolds here, so maybe it would be better to take it with us and then investigate it once we're sure we're safe. Yeah, that's but a, we, that's a good point. We could theoretically also take a short rest. Um, if anyone, cough, cough, warlock, <laughs> needs it, and he can identify the stuff. And we are in a room that only has one entrance, so we will know, we can funnel them in and know, and not be snuck up on. Are we sure about that? Did we find any other hidden entrances while we were looking around? I mean, I don't think we've looked, but... Yeah, I don't think we got a chance to, because zombies attacked as soon as we entered the room. Why don't we do that? Let's search the room, and then we can take a short rest. I think that sounds like a good man. Okay. You search the room further for, like, hidden entrances and stuff like that. You don't find any. I want to search the Jack of Welch cave, too. See if there's anything interesting of our treasure. Yeah, I, I do want to... I would go in there with him and check around. There is a bunch of dried meat. A bunch and there's of a couple coppers. 
I'm sorry? A bunch of what? Dried meat. Iguana meat. It's rations, guys. No, no, it's it's ox. <laughs> Button's got it. Um, but yeah, no. Bunch of dried meat. Um, a couple coppers here and there. Uh, some ratty flea-ridden beds. But that's about it. Is the meat fit to eat? My yes. Yes, it is. Uh, gather up what reasonable to carry of that, Tim. Yeah, okay. I guess rations won't hurt. How many would we get? Um, Roll a d20 and add five. I rolled a ten, so fifteen. Okay. Are you keeping up with the stuff, eh? I am, for normal. I've got my actual like sheet as to what what we have. We can divide it out later. Um, uh, roll me either a perception or investigation, you two, as well. Individually or with one with advantage. Um, either way. Well, I've, I've got a plus nine to it. You want me to roll with advantage? Yeah. Well, 17. I got 17 total. Um, you also find a really heavy-duty helmet that looks like it would fit on top of Esther's head. I got 20, so plus 3 is 23. Okay. Hey, I found you yeah. a helmet. <clears throat> Esther. You will have to find oh, out what it does. I guess so. If it does anything. Uh, I'll cast... I guess we'll take a short rest and I'll cast Detect Magic as a ritual. Okay. Um, so, the cutlass and the helmet are actually magical. Okay. What would they do, or do you want to give it to me later? Um, the cutlass is a plus one. So, it's just plus one, plus one cutlass. It's, it's a... Basically, a slashing rapier. If you're keeping up with that. Yeah. And, and rogues would be able to use it. Nice. I'll hand um, that off to her then, to Indigo then. And the helmet doesn't actually have any like mechanical use, but it makes your eyes glow red. Oh, <laughs> the dread helmet. Yeah. Um, however, it's a lot heavier and a lot sturdier, and you think you could probably headbutt somebody and actually do damage. Ooh. Like, interesting. extra damage. Would, would like, it be like a bonus helmet. action helmet bash? Um, you could use it as an offhand bonus action. Cool, because I would, don't have a bonus action aside from rage. Yeah, it would do a D8, or a D6, rather, of bludgeoning damage. However, you would have to roll a constitution save to not become confused. <laughs> That's pretty slick. What's the DC of the con save? Or um, would it be change? It would change. It's um, okay. 8 plus the damage done. Oh, okay. So chances are you're probably going to pass it. However... And you said the damage of it was actually just a 1d8? 1d6. 1d6. Okay. I like the Dread Helm Plus. I'll pop it on. And it, Yeah. What, attune do it? Whatever, for the short rest if I need to. You don't need to. Cool. That... It's just a fun little thing. Um, it is technically a battle helmet. Nice. Um, and if you want to use that as your actual action, it does the D6 plus your strength modifier. Interesting. Okay, cool. So yeah. Um, that's fine. Bunch of gold. Cutlass, the helmet, the gear, and the dragon egg, which doesn't seem to actually be magical. Okay, and the scythe is not magical either? 
No, the scythe is not. That okay. is also just a scythe. Cool. And a longbow. Yeah, and a longbow. What did you mean there was cording on the side of it? It looked like it looked like it was wrapped with something. Looks like it has a composite material. Okay. Would I be able to inspect any of that during the rest to see what it does? Um, you... You make weapons, right? I do. Okay. Um, you would be able to figure out that the bow has a plus two strength rating. So, it would be normal bow, mm -hmm. damage, so 1d8, plus your dex, plus two the strength rating, but you have to have at least a plus two on your strength to be able to use it. Oh, that's really cool. Does Indigo have a plus two? Uh, probably can't use longbows. As a rogue? Should be able to. Well, I don't think so. I mean, it's just, just a simple weapon, isn't it? Um, it's martial. Yeah, longbows are martial. Oh. At the very least, we could probably sell it for a little bit of cash. Well, I can use martial weapons, and that would actually give me a, a ranged weapon other than the lance. I, I'm not, you know, wouldn't be fantastic at it, but it'd be something. Then the extra damage would come in handy. Well, yeah, because my dex is only plus two, so I'd get a plus four over my typical plus seven, five or seven. Yeah, and no, rogues cannot use longbows for some stupid reason. That's dumb. It is, but... I've uh, talked that before. Yeah, it's all good, though. So yeah, that's what you find. During the short rest, I'd ask Destiny one more time before we get out of here, does she want to go after the fancy sword behind the scorpions? We do not know if it is a fancy sword. I don't think it is worth it well I can't use them so I would, wouldn't mind helping you get it though you seem to be pretty good at smashing stuff I would not give up my sword you don't have to give it up it's just you know an extra one above the table it's just a silver sword so would it help with the wear jackals yeah that's okay we took That's care okay. of them pretty easily. I got my rage radiant, so we're good. Yeah. Uh, short rest. Does anything happen cool on a short rest? Um, actually, as a matter of fact, at the end of it, um, you see a little um, blue head pop around the corner. It's like, um, don't kill us, please. And like five more pop around the corner. I'm like, did, um, the egg there. Uh, can we have that? It's why ours. Would, why would we give it to you? How do we know it is yours? It, you don't. Fucking egg, kobolds. I, I mean, we don't really have any use for it. I'm not saying we don't give it to them. I just want to know why it is here. It, I was thinking more barter. Uh, it has value to them. Gifts have no value, but barter is something you earn. <laughs> yes, uh, yes. Uh, uh, trades, trades. And he kind of turns around and he's like, Kobu, uh, you, y give me things. Things, please. Uh, um, and he comes around and he lays out um, a pillow with a couple of rings on it. And he's like, you can take any of these. We just need that. It is for our master. Who is your master? Uh, bad guy. Bad, bad guy. Then why do you want to give it to him? 
uh, he will kill us. <laughs> Was it like the Master Z's ones? No. No. What is your master? Where's the red hat? Yes, where's red hat? Very short. Kind of like that. What is where's your master? Red... Where's um, red hat? Very short. Oh my... In in the city. In the city. Yes, yes, yes. I see. It, and you want to continue serving your master? Um, we owe debt. Once it's paid, which is this, um, we get to leave. Where would you go? Do you really know? Yes, we do. Uh, we go southwest. What's oh, southwest? Southwest. The hills. How did you get in debt? Uh, gambling. That is a very, bet. very bad thing to do. It's bet on against Big Orc. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why would you bet against an orc? That is a um, very bad idea. 300 yeah. to 1 odds. That's why. Yep, look how that turned out for you. <laughs> yes, we... Bad idea. Nobody ever said we were smart, okay? Well, as reach. much... As much as I love this... I love this uh, little chat. Let's, uh... Let's move things along. We're, uh... <clears throat> being hunted, remember? Let's do Zering Zoo. Uh, and he kind of holds one up and he's like, this one lets you walk on water. Very useful. Um, this one, you hold hand out and it punches things, I think. <laughs> I think. Uh, I don't know. And then this one, very pretty. Look, it's shine. Is that all it does? Uh... I think I don't know. I didn't put it up. We stole. I see. You stole all three rings? Yes. Then I think you could trade all three rings for the egg if it's what's gonna get you out of trouble. Yeah, we we would like to keep at least one. What do you think, guys? Two rings for an egg that we don't really need? <clears throat> or do we just kill these guys and take their rings? Is, is that a pretty one? We'll take the other two and take up the egg and we're all on our way. Does the egg seem to be made of, like, actual gold? Yes, gold jewels. It's got some diamond inlays. Mm. It looks to be worth a lot of money, actually. Yeah, I believe if it's worth that much, I believe I'm going to have to ask for all three rings, oh boy. Uh, no. Unless if you have good reason for it. How about we're not going to give it to you unless you do? Is that a good enough reason? Um. And he kind of looks and. Anybody speak Draconic? Yes. I think so. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out how many people speak Draconic. Not me. I lied. I do not. I apologize. Maybe just me. Think so? Just you? Okay. <laughs> so yeah, you can, you can understand them. Basically, the dude turns around and is like, I don't give a shit about these rings. Just give them. Should we just give them to him? Yes, yes, no, no, yep, yep, no. But, and they kind of go back and forth a little bit. And he turns around and he's like, we give you rings, you give us egg and five gold. You know what? Done. That is fine. If that satisfies everybody else, I believe we can do that for five, five golds and an egg. Oh, absolutely. Here, one gold for and each of us. 
Uh, Diana will just do, we'll just give him five gold. She's got plenty. Okay. So, does anybody want to just go ahead and put the rings on? I'll take the punching one. Okay. I'll take the shiny one. That doesn't really do anything. Okay. Um, I need I to think see... our fire friend should take the water walking one. I gotta figure out how many of these actually require attunement. So there is a water walking ring. What's the other two? Um, water walking does not require attunement, so we're good there. Um, the one that Diana has does require attunement. As does the one that S has. Okay. So you want to actually attune to him? Uh, attuning takes a short rest, and we just finished one, so probably not yet. Yeah. I'll just say over the next, course of the next hour, you can go ahead and do that. Okay. As you're getting like the gear in and all that other fun stuff. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm going to go ahead and not attune to mine yet. I want to know what it does before I attune to it. Okay, you might have to attune to it to do that, or if you have Identify. I personally do not have Identify. Our cleric does as a ritual. I know, to take magic's for life. Oh, oh. Oh, I see. Okay, never mind. I'm going to attune to the ring then. Okay. So, S, yours, is called Stonky's Ring. Ah. Ha! I don't know if you've ever heard of that thing. Uh, only from Critical does... Role. Okay. But I don't really know what yeah. it does. Um, you get telekinesis at will. Oh, shit. But you can only target objects that aren't being worn or carried. Does anyone actually want that? I mean, I'll happily take it, but... Yeah, it's yours. Take it. Cool. Yeah. So technically, yes, it punches things, but not how you would think. Right. Um, Diana, you get the Ring of Truth telling. Oh, shit. Um, you get advantage on insight check to determine whether or not somebody is lying to you. Okay, cool, because I only have a plus one to insight, so that'll actually be helpful. And then, yes, Ring of Water Walk. Um, as far as the gear is concerned, can I get somebody with a mechanical background or some sort of smart person to roll me either, I don't know, like a weaponsmith or an intelligence type check? I got smith's tools. I, I have, like, training in, with smithy stuff, so that's all I got. That'll work. What do I add to it? Um, for this one, I'm going to let you add Wisdom. Cool. Um, proficiency as well, since I have that? Yes. And Ooh. you technically get advantage. Oh shit, well, I don't need it. I rolled a natural 20 on the first one. Okay, um, yeah. So, yeah, you so pl- are like, oh, it fits in here like this, and you're like, kunk <laughs> And then you like smack some stuff down, and it just kind of sits in there perfect. And you're like, all right, cool, go ahead and pull the lever. She'll pull the lever. Yeah, so you pull the lever and... Hopefully not the wrong up. lever. Yeah, now the gate comes up. And um, as the gate comes up, the uh, gate comes up to a point that it actually locks the ceiling like release mechanism. So it can't come unlocked. Oh, cool. And you're free to go outside if you want to. Yes. Probably check and make sure no one's waiting for us on the other side. Also true. Would you like to roll an investigation or perception check? I would like to roll perception. 
Gross. Not option for me. Thirteen. Fifteen. I also got a fifteen. Oh, I got a ten. Okay. So, Forrest, you swear there's somebody in the bushes. Um, Egan, there's nobody in the bushes. I'm not telling him. I'm going to let him believe it. <laughs> um, everybody else, you're just like, I guess the ghost is there. I don't know. But yeah, no, it's, uh, it's late afternoon. It's not quite like dusk. Definitely not nighttime. It's still fairly bright and sunny out. Maybe we should wait a little bit? Sure, I guess. I don't know if I want to wait where someone's watching us. Okay, yeah, fair point. Um, can we kind of... Can we kind of tell where in the city we kind of emerged, or where outside the city we emerged? You're about half a mile south. Okay, but we're outside, outside. Yes. About okay. what time of the day does it look? Um, if you go off of, like, our time, it looks about to be 4.35 o'clock. Okay. So we have... We could have a little bit of traveling time before we have to bed down for the day. Yes. No, well, we've got rations, we've got water. I say we get moving. All right then, let's let's get out of here. Where are we heading though? I mean, I mean, is there another city that we want to head towards? I mean, what's the overall game plan now? I don't know. I wasn't there last let's, game. Let's just find somewhere safe to bed down for the evening and maybe discuss it over dinner. Sure. Dinner sounds like a plan. Mr. Wood, you come to get us for some reason? I just needed to get you safe out of the desert. I don't really know what is going on now. Yeah, let's talk about that over dinner, too. Yeah. (laughs) So you exit and start heading down the river? Yep. Making sure. Walk down and it's you kind of come out and where you're currently at is not nearly as populated as like it normally is, so it's a good spot to come out. Um, you walk down a little ways and you get back into a bit of civilization. And um, can I get everybody to roll me a perception check, please, or investigation, whatever your better stat is. Alright, Egan uh, hears it. That is a natural 19 for a 24. Yeah, two. I uh, got an 11. I got okay. a 14. Alright. So, Indigo and Egan, you hear people are already talking about, like, apparently some high value prisoners have escaped. Um,. Nobody knows what they look like yet. But people have escaped. Hey guys, we should track him down, maybe get some money. Haha, uh-huh, real funny. Oh. I thought so. I mean, we could frame some people as prisoners and make a lot of money off of them. Yeah, but then we'd have to go right back to where we just busted out of from, and I genuinely don't feel like doing that. We should not implicate people that have done nothing to us. That too. Or, I, I was okay. I was just trying to make a joke. Oh, sorry, I was thinking about the money. I figured we could just give them to some, you know, small town guard and be like, here's your prisoners, give us our money, bye. Let's keep moving. The less we discuss this in public, the better. 
Indeed. So, exactly how long are you guys going to travel? Uh, till evening? Late evening? Okay. I'll, be on, uh, I'll, about, be on look out, I'll be on the lookout for a good campsite, too. Out of the way. And if it's yeah. dark, um, I can pull up the dancing lights again. So yeah, you want to actually camp, or do you want to find like an inn or an abandoned house? Uh, a- abandoned, abandoned house, house would be best, but but if if not, then a campsite. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think an inn. No, no, we okay. want to like avoid civilization right now. I think. Yeah, maybe like maybe it's something abandoned on the edges, on the outskirts of town, or something. Something we can run from easily. Okay. Um. That's easy enough. Uh, go ahead and give me an investigation check. Fourteen. Nine. What everybody get? Nineteen. Nine. Twelve. Also twelve. Okay. So, Forrest is actually the one that finds the uh, abandoned house. And, yeah, it's it's been abandoned for probably a couple of years at this point. Uh, thick layer of dust on the floor. Um, the furniture is covered with sheets. The windows have actually been broken in. But, the roof's good. The walls are sturdy. Um, There's actually a place to sleep. Is it cold? It's not cold or anything, right? No, not right now. Okay, so like, no fire would be needed to draw attention to us or anything? No. No fire? Sad. You are warm enough for everyone. Ez, are you flirting? <laughs> are you asking that in character? I am. No, I have someone. And she'll pull out a, a wooden ring and just play with it. How nice. Ah, young love. <laughs> um, so yeah, you kind of set up camp in the house and Get something to eat, kind of bed down a little bit. I assume that we're taking watches, right? Yes. Okay. Can I get Diana and as to make me a wisdom save? Sure. Bird things. Uh, 17. 15. Okay. The so 17 will pass, 15 will not. Or things. Um, how are you doing, Watch? Well, I assume uh, Indigo and S will have to be either one of us has to be first, one of us has to be last, because we're the only ones that can't see in the dark. And I'll take you the will. middle watch. I'll take the middle watch because I only need the four trancing hours and can see in the dark. Okay, so we'll say S, oh, Egan. We'll let Forrest sleep. Then, um, Diana. Diane will be up the rest of the day. And then, Indigo. So, I'd say take your headphones off, but I don't really care. Um, Diana. Um, you wake up your watch right in the middle of it. You get a kind of startled by the not necessarily sudden appearance but definitely appearance of a figure in the window I recognize the figure um because you have dark vision yes um I kind of lean in like this is a bit different than what I'm used to seeing you for just gonna 
kind of crawl over to the window trying to avoid the sleeping people around and like, yeah, well, these circumstances aren't exactly ideal for me either, so we're doing the best we can with what we got. Is there something I can do for you? Uh, do you need in? Oh, no, 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 no. Um, so, which one are you? The one that's not supposed to be here. Wow, okay, good. So you're the one I can play with a little bit more, and you're the expendable one. Gee, thanks for just saying it out loud, like I haven't heard that a million times already. Well, I mean, for what it's worth. The other one, I've got busy. Um, just meaningless bullshit. She's about useless. You, on the other hand, seem to be able to handle yourself a little bit. So I can use you a little bit more. Um, and this is a different person than before. Like, so, our, um, person has asked me to have you, well, the other one of you, but like I said, they're about useless. I'm going to use you. Um, figure out what the hell is going on and why you're here. If you even know. Well, I can give you a little bit of insight already. This is just from what I've gleaned. Um, something happened that messed up our time streams. Um, we were with a group that went into the into some ruins nearby, came out with um, a crown of some sort, and by the time we get back to town, who we thought was a friend of ours but happens to be uh, this Borrelia lady, is now sitting on the throne and her lackeys are harassing us. And that's what I know so far. Okay. So you said they had the crown, came out of the room. Okay. So would it surprise you to know that? I already knew most of that. Probably not. Probably not. Given, yeah, given the situation. Anyway, um, you need to fix that. You need to use that one over there. And he points to S. Like you need to use that one to fix it specifically. She's gonna. Okay. She's gonna be able to help you out a little bit more. Um. The uh, green one over there. That's it. That's the unique one. Um. The other two, they're expendable. If you need to use them for other means, go ahead and do that. But yeah, the human, keep the human. Right, right. Keep the human. Sure. Um. In the meantime, uh, kind of slides over a package. <laughs> get you something better to eat. This is below you. It's below us, really. Um, and try to get a bath. You stink. I'm fighting in a cave. Oh, no. Uh, you, you stink worse than fighting in a cave. Gee, thanks. It's like you haven't had a bath in like weeks. And they're just like, um, I will be checking in with you uh, about three weeks. So it'll probably be about this time again. So just make sure that you're available, please. Sure. Thank you. And they just kind of walk away. She just kind of rolls her eyes and looks down at the package. Okay. Would you like to open it? 
Uh, everyone else is still asleep, right? Yes. Um, she'll kind of sequ- she'll kind of make her way over to a corner, kind of away from the others, and then do her best to quietly open it. All right, you open it and you find fancy cheese, some nice fresh bread, and a bar of soap. She'll work on nibbling on the food while her watch finishes. Yeah, the rest of the night goes uneventfully. Amazing. Wake up next morning. Wake up next morning, and um, what would you all like to do? Well, we need to get away. We need to figure out where we're going to go and what the plan is. Yeah, we did have that conversation over dinner. Everybody was I, assumed it was, I assumed it was going to be like a, um, we have the conversation during the week for us and then come back to it next game. That works for me, yeah. That'll work. So let's assume that you pack up and start heading wherever it is that you're going to go. So where the nearest city other than the one we were arrested in, where is it? What is it? It is a couple um, days down the river. Um, I have to pull up my map. That's fine. I assume that's where we should go. Yeah. And we can't stay in this one. Mm-hmm. I mean, to be fair, we can't really stay anywhere too terribly long. No, but we could stop in to make sure everything is, you know, tip top and get rations and whatever else we're going to need at that point. Um, yeah, the next city is the Noctis, which um, it's definitely not nearly as big as the um, as big as the capital city. Um, however, it'll probably be easier to hide for you, at least for a little while. How do you spell that? D A M A T K I S S. Okay. Yeah, so we make make our way there. Um let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. I'm not counting myself. We did get bison jerky, and I'm sure we can hunt, too, so I'm not worried about rations. I've got liquids yep. to drink. Uh, Brewster, go ahead and roll me a D100 for the first day. While he's rolling, how far away is the river from us currently? Like, could we, like, wash off in the river real fast? Yeah, I thought we were, like, on the river. Yeah, you can oh. be. Oh. That's going to be the easiest way to travel. Awesome. Four to four. Okay. All right, cool. Nothing happens first day. Um, buttons. You're yeah. Next. D100. Eighty-two. Uh, um, about halfway through the day, you're kind of stopped and you're like what the hell's going on you're trying to take a look around um apparently a horse like went freaking crazy and um 
ran a wagon in the side of the house. So you gotta find a way around, but everybody's like congregated. There's a bunch of guards around. Like there's just a bunch of people. Um, can I get everybody to roll me a stealth check to try to get past the guards without being seen? Fourteen. Twenty-two. Roll a natural 29. twenty. Five. Okay. I rolled a nineteen. Look at something real quick. All right, and then <clears throat> let me roll him. Yeah, he rolled pretty good. So yeah, uh, as a group, you guys do pass. You make it to a little small town. Um, no big deal. Uh, and then goes E3. All right. Kosia. I need another D100. Uh, that is a nine. Okay. Nice. Cool. Um, Faye and Nen. I have Who picture proof of this one because I rolled when you started asking. I Who rolled the 100. Who wants low? Yeah, who wants high or who wants low? I. That's low. So, Nen. Alright, 56. So, last day, oh, 100. Which just so happens to be the day that you pull into town. Um, 100's not good. Yep, I figured. Um, the 100 will cover exactly what happens next week, because it's going to be a lot. I'm so happy I rolled it. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going <laughs> to apparently end a little bit early today. <laughs> Only by five minutes for good. Yeah. First time ever rolling like a an actual D one hundred in person, like with actual dice, I rolled a hundred. Nice. Triple zeros kind of feels good, but then you're like, this is bad. Oh, I knew it was going to be. That's why I was excited. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Hopefully that was a little bit more like, hey, we got to do things. It was fun. This game was very fun. And boy, am I feeling it tonight. Because of what I posted in Discord. I have not seen it. Yeah, no, the, the fun beverage I bought before, before I left work, I have finished. Oh, Cause, okay. Because why not? It wasn't a big battle. Guys. It wasn't a big battle. We're fine. I was hoping that I'd at least be able to hit somebody with a mummy. Then somebody would have to roll a constitution save. <clears throat> because mummy rot's freaking fun. Is it? Is it fun? For me, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's not. You know, I'm not going to lie, um, I almost used my last spell sp spell slot to cast Blindness on the mummy, um, but then I was like, nah, they got it. And then oh, all I the kobolds came up, so I was like, oh, okay, we'll deal with that. Yeah, no, the, the kobolds. So had you went the other way, initially, yeah, you would have ran into the kobolds, and they would have just like, don't kill us, please. Uh, we need you to find us something, please. Yeah. Um, they were little bitches. <laughs> I could tell. Yeah, don't say. Yeah, they dealt with the red cap. Yeah. Which is always fun, right? Totally. Yeah, I still think that totally. red cap needs to die. Kind of want to kill him now. <laughs> or in this campaign. Did S spend any time in that city? Like, would she know about the Red Cap? Um, 
Because she, I mean, she took time traveling, but I, I'm not sure when she was I'm, sent, when she started to get sent to, you know, make sure they didn't die in the desert versus actually getting there. Like, how much time in between that? So, she probably wouldn't know about the red cat. Okay. Yeah, it's not, not even she would go hearing... looking for fighting pits or anything. Not even hearing it as a campfire story of something that happened to someone else? No. Yeah, technically that never happened because our characters are dead. Right? Yes. Also, yes, branding. That's how you do branding. <laughs> that was really funny, by the way. I figured, of all things that I could do, I was like, that's that's the one I'm going to do. Um, but yeah. So, Nana, I hope that was a little bit more like what you're, nor you're used to. Yeah, it was. Um, I know RP's a little bit, can be a little bit here and there, depending on what's exactly going on. Fela here. So the dice have been rolled for the session, and we've had our after-game care with you all included. From us here at Total Party Crit, we thank you for joining us at our virtual table. As always, if you have any game-related questions for our players or DM, including lore questions, anything that happened in the recent game, or questions about any items we have, please feel free to leave a comment in the video with them or on one of our social media pages. Links for those will be down in the description under the video. Music attributions will also be there as well, and there will be a Discord post about all of the music used in this session as well. The world is a crazy place, so stay safe, and we hope to see you again.